Hello, welcome to the Narrow Ways Christ for All Nations. I am Brother Hosanna Tebe. Today we are talking about Jesus, the head of all principality and power. We talked about who is in charge of this world, God or the devil. Please subscribe to this channel, Hosanna E. E. David, and don't forget to share our videos. You can visit our website, ozanadevi.com. May the Lord bless you as you watch this video and share our videos. So let's look at the text for today. Colossians chapter 1, 12 to 20. Give you thanks unto the Father, which had made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light who had delivered us from the power of darkness and had translated us into the kingdom of his dear son, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins, who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature. For by him were all things created, that whether they be in there be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things we are created by Him. 17. And He is before all things, and by Him all things consist. And He is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning. Who is in the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things He might be the he might have the preeminence, for it pleased the Father that in him should all fullness dwell. Please mark that. For it pleased the Father that in him should all fullness dwell, and having made peace through the blood of his cross, by him to reconcile all things unto himself. By him I say, whether they be things in heaven or things in heaven, in earth. Now let's jump to chapter 2, 9 and 10. Colossians chapter 2, verses 9 and 10. For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, and ye are complete in him, which is a head of all principality and power. Let us pray. Lord our God, we ask that you explain your word to us. Let us know the truth. Many people are living in ignorance, and because of their ignorance, they are not taking advantage of their fullness in you, Jesus Christ. In you, we have our fullness. In you, we are complete. And because you have triumphed, we too are victors over the current battles that we face and over the battles ahead of us. We are victors because we are already seated with Christ in heavenly places. Therefore, Lord, Help us to know that you are in charge, that no matter what happens in the world, you are the head of all principalities and powers. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. So we talked about who is in charge. Is it God or the devil? The truth is that the whole earth is a full stool of God, the world and everything that we're doing. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and all that we're doing. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the waters. God is in charge. But why is it that it seems like Satan is in charge? He is in control of a lot of things except the church. Yes, it is like that because men whom God handed over the world to 
failed. And not just that too. When Jesus Christ came and took over the authority from the devil, took the dominion from him, not everybody has accepted him. A lot of people today have not yet come to acknowledge the truth. They fail to recognize the one that has conquered the devil. So because of that, they are still subject to the power of the prince of the darkness of this world. You, Before you can have authority, you have to identify with the source of the authority, which is what I actually talked about, I think about three weeks ago. Submit to God, resist the devil. Before you can resist the devil, you must first of all submit to God. A lot of people want to resi resist the devil, but they don't want to submit to the law of Christ. They don't want to submit to God. You can't be a rebel against the kingdom and you go in the name of that kingdom to fight against the opposing kingdom. It is impossible. John chapter 1 verse 12. Uh, let me start from verse 11 because this is very important. He came, okay, verse 10. John 1 10, following, he was in the world and the world was made by him and the world knew him not. So if you don't know him, how can you make use of his power? You, could, you can have dollars and gold and silver in your house. Uh, I remember a poem I wrote some time ago, Gold's on the Farm. So the farmers were complaining that the stones were destroying the teeth of their holes. They were complaining. Because they don't know the value. So you could you can have gold and silver or, or pounds, sterlings. You can have all the good things. But if you don't know their use, you will lie in penury. I told a story some time ago of an old elderly woman whose only son traveled abroad. And the woman was living beggarly. Very poor, no provision. And she used to beg around until one day she was complaining and someone was saying, Oh, I, I heard your son is abroad and that he always sends you, he, he, he keeps close contact on a monthly basis. And the woman said, Yes, my son sends me letters on a monthly basis, but the problem is that he doesn't send me money. <laughs> And uh, what I do uh, anytime I'm sad, I look at the letters and the papers inside. So I got them in my room. I don't want anybody to know what I'm passing through. And the man said, you don't know how to read. And you have never consulted anyone that knows how to read. So can I please look at the letters your son sends to you on a monthly basis? And the woman said, well, no problem. I, I can granted the access into my inner room. So the young man enters the room and saw the whole of the world full of dollars. So this woman had been receiving money, but she gums them, she sticks them on the wall. <laughs> and she had been begging. This is how a lot of people are living. They don't even know the one that has triumphed. A lot of people don't even know the power in the name of Jesus Christ. And they are living wretched lives in the spirit. Verse 11, John 1, 11, He came unto his own, and his own received him not. If you go to Israel today, you have few Christians compared to far Africa. We receive him. Verse 12. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe in his name. We shall born not of blood, 
not of the will of the flesh, not of the will of man, but of God. So you can't use the power of God if you are not empowered by Him, or you will end up. If you do, you end up like the seven sons of Sceva. Jesus is a head of all principalities and powers. The fact that we see the devil roam up and down doesn't mean that he is in charge. He is not in charge. I want us to read this passage. This Revelation chapter 12. Revelation chapter 12, 9. 9 to 12. And the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceived the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. Let me ask you a question. If he was the power that cast him out of heaven, can't that power cast him out of the world? Very much well, that same power can cast him out of the world and cast him directly into the fire of hell. But God didn't do that. God had his own wisdom. In his own wisdom, he cast him to the earth. So that he can fulfill, he can fill up his cup of iniquity. So that when God judges him, the justice of God will be very, very plain to everyone. He created a kingdom, a faction, out of God's kingdom. And rebel at the highest level he carried out trafficking in heaven politics in heaven and accused god the holy god of heaven and earth of, of injustice let's continue with this passage remember his angels were cast out within only a few of those angels were put in chains because they left their area of habitation they left their habitation verse 10 revelation 12 10. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength in the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before God, before our God day and night. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto the death. Because Jesus is the head of all principalities and powers. Because his blood is the blood of the new covenant, the last testament. They overcame him by the word of their testimony and by the blood of the lamb. The lamb of God that was slain from the beginning of the world. How much... Do you know about the position of Christ? How much do you know about your position in Christ? I remember someone in my family some years ago. He used to call me. So then I used to leave my phone on 24 hours. Especially in the night, I was never used to switching off my phone. Then I had less engagements too, I mean in ministry. Sometimes he would call me and tell me, Oh, witches are oppressing me. Demons are oppressing me. Please pray for me. Sometimes I would be praying and be sleeping off. And then in the morning, I would call him. Maybe when I see his, it, they call history. And I would call him and say, Oh, you called me in the night? He said, Yes. And I prayed with you? He said, Yes. Did I pray well? <laughs> he could say, Well, you slept off. Did they still oppress you? And he would say, no. One day he asked me, why is it that sometimes you don't even pray well and you will, be, you will feel sleepy and the prayers still work? Sometimes I would 
pray and sweat and pray fervently with all my stress. And the next minute, they will press me the more. They oppress me the more. Why? I told him it's simple. It's not because I'm special. You have to stay away from sin. You be in Christ. Don't be devoted to your uh, traditions and believe in what your forefathers used to believe in. And you still believe in Christ. No, you can't serve two masters at the same time. Be in Christ. You are entitled to at least one angel as a believer. You are entitled, entitled to one full guardian angel. At least one who's supposed to follow you wherever you go to. How many of us are aware that Jesus Christ has the ultimate victory? And that we are seated with Christ in heavenly places. You don't need to beg for protection. You're supposed to command protection. You are entitled to protection. It is a shame for those who drink the blood of Christ to be oppressed every time by demons. How can you be oppressed continually? You that carry Christ inside of you. The Holy Spirit lives in you. You are the temple of God where God himself dwells through his spirit why is it that demons oppress you every single time despite you speaking tongues ignorance is a disease ignorance kills ignorance is not an excuse please study your bible be a student of the word of god so that you will not continue to live in ignorance a lot of us are living in ignorance and that is why we do some of the things that we do if you know your position in christ you will never ever reduce yourself to the point of doing some of the things you do jesus christ has won the ultimate victory and he wants us to reign with him in heavenly places let's continue with this revelation Verse 12, therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down to you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he had but a short time. Now I want to answer a question. Why is it that it seems like Satan is winning? If Jesus Christ is the head of all principalities and powers, if he's the head of all kingdoms, why is he that Satan seems to be winning? Why is he everywhere? It is because we gave him that opportunity. It is because we allow him. Do you know that even God himself cannot just come to this world and start operating at some certain level? He wouldn't do that, not because he doesn't have the power. After all, the whole earth is his first to. But he doesn't do that because he has already handed over this earth to man. And he's not going to go against his nature. He's not going to go against his words. Now, um, let me read for you Psalm 82, verse 5, following. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. Why are they out of course? Because we don't even know the authority we have in Christ. If those who are custodians of the law, those who are to maintain peace and order on earth, are criminals and breakers of the law, then things will be out of course. And what is the result of that ignorance? They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. 
all the foundations of the earth are out of course. Because those whom to whom God handed over dominion to, authority to, they are walking in darkness. They don't even know. They don't even understand. Now look at the implication. Verse 7. But ye shall die like men. Like men, men. That is what some translations say. Men, men. M-E-R-E. M-E-N. You shall die like ordinary men. Because you don't know the authority you wield in Christ. And fall, but you shall die like men, men and fall like one of the princes. Because you don't know. Because you don't understand that Jesus Christ is a head of all principalities and powers. I encourage you to listen to the life testimony of Evangelist Mrs. Grace Onyijaka. I own the copyright. Volumes 1 and 2. I'm still looking for the volumes 3. There is power in the name of Jesus Christ. Whenever that name is mentioned in the kingdoms of darkness, there is fire, there is chaos, there is trouble, there is liberty. Call that name. Don't live beggarly. Don't live in pity and in fear. Let us look at Philippians chapter 2. Philippians chapter 2, 5 to 11. Let his mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Verse 9, Wherefore God also had highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, a name that is above every single other name, that at the, ma- at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of things in heaven, and things in earth, and things under the earth, and that, the, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Praise God. A lot of people don't know that Jesus Christ had been exalted above every other name. And when I say above every other name, it doesn't mean above the name of the Father because everything is to the glory of the Father. They are one. Jesus is God. The Father is one. With the Son and the Holy Spirit. So this is not a bad competition. But because Jesus came in the flesh, he is exalted because being God, despite being God, Look at the message I preached last week. I took my time to explain from Daniel chapter 7, um, verses 9 and 10, and 13 and 14. How Jesus, you, you have the distinction between Jesus Christ, who is seen as a son of man, and then God, who is called the ancient of these, these are heavenly things. They are just trying to present these things to us in a way, in a simple way that we can understand them. But when we get to heaven, we ask all our questions. Me, I have a lot of questions I'm going to ask. Yeah, but one thing is, when you get to heaven, there is a kind of knowledge you're going to get. We will download a lot of knowledge into ourselves that I know very well. Sometimes you are in a vision and you see things and you understand everything 
it could be within few seconds it could be a split of second but you have very deep and broad understanding of everything you will see it happens like that sometimes so jesus christ the name jesus is exalted above every other name that at the mention of the name every knee should bow whether things in heaven or things in earth or things under this earth and that every tongue should confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father are you facing oppression are you being oppressed by the devil because and you don't want to do anything about it because you feel oh the devil is in charge you don't want to oppose him oh God is far away no he's not far away he is in you for as many as are led by the Spirit of God they are the sons of God the Spirit is in you he lives inside of you he is the one that's supposed to do the leading every time it's not far away he's near you if you haven't accepted him please accept him for those of you who have one of your legs here you have another leg here and you are trying to maintain the balance between God and Satan between one power that is in secret or you have one secret sin in your life you are wasting away you're wasting away your time a lot of people if they manage to enter heaven they are going to cry although there is no tears in heaven but when they see the power of God how much power that is in the name of Jesus and how much authority God has disposed to man so much the much authority God make available to men to operate with the ranking of men on earth they will cry and then they will realize that oh I should have cast out this demon I should have rebuked this devil I should have rebuked this sickness I should have done this I should have done that imagine Elijah splitting river Jordan and crossing walking on dry foot and also Elisha came and say where is the God of Elijah and smack it it split into two and it walked over that is a power we have in Christ how many of us know that we have this power in Christ some of us are just suffering in silence because of ignorance my people perish for lack of knowledge let's read this passage Matthew chapter 28 18 and 20 now after Jesus Christ finished the work of salvation and restoring the kingdom the lost authority back to man this is what he said and Jesus came and spake unto them saying all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth go ye therefore and teach all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you and lo I am with you always even unto the end of the world amen so Jesus Christ having become the firstborn of every creature and the firstborn from the dead having taken the power and the authority from the devil he said now now that i have risen from the grave now that i have taken the power and everything that was stolen from man stolen from adam and eve in the garden now that i have taken everything that the devil boasted about in Luke chapter 4 that they have been given to me and to whomsoever I will I give these things now that I have taken everything from him go ye therefore praise God (laughs) and on the day of Pentecost his kingdom boom came down with power 
If you are not a member of this kingdom, please be a member of this kingdom. Don't languish in spiritual penury and don't suffer these petty things you suffer. Some of the things we can actually rebuke are some of the things that our ignorance make us to makes us suffer. Let me tell you a funny story one day. I I was new to using my uh, word app. So I I was typing um I typed I have some quotes so I number them there were many. So I made some mistakes and I wanted to do something. Unfortunately a lot of the quotes wiped out I didn't know I didn't know actually that I supposed to undo in my mobile app I supposed to undo my action and I did not know so I lost a lot of those quotes which I have not been able to recover to the T today and there was no way I had written them I lost them so one day I was working with my mobile app, the Word document. I was working with, uh, I mean, Microsoft app, the mobile one. I was working with it, and I discovered that you can actually undo and redo. And I said, what? So I lost all the scores because of my ignorance. I didn't know it. This is how a lot of Christians are suffering in ignorance. And they are blaming God. Jesus is the head of all principalities and powers. Satan is everywhere because he was given the time. And that time he knows is short. And he's making the best use of it. While many of us are wasting our time pursuing irrelevant things, Satan is making the best use his time. He's very watchful. He is sober at every time. But Jesus Christ has told us that he is with us. That's Matthew chapter 28. Verse 20. He is with us to the very end of the world. So we don't need to be afraid that we are here with the devil. How many of you are afraid? How many of you are living in ignorance? This is the time to return back to the Lord. Don't be afraid that Satan has some level of power that he's working with. That power can only be used within the circle of God's permission. Like what happened between Job, God, and Satan. The Lord told him, first of all, you can touch his properties. But don't touch his body. Secondly, you can touch his body, but don't touch his life. So Satan can only operate within the permission of God. If he doesn't get the permission, he cannot do anything. He has a time. And very soon, the flight will take place. And his power will increase. Because it has been written about him that he will deceive the whole world. He's already deceiving but the time is coming. And that time is a period of seven years. The tribulation period. And we should take like we should take three and a half years and the great tribulation. A time that is very, very terrible, the most terrible time so far. Are you prepared for the flight? Or are you deceived? Have you given up? This is not a time to give up. This is not a time to be drunk. Either with wine, with pleasure, with wealth, drunk with achievements, drunk with anything. This is not a time. This is a time to be watchful. This is a time to reclaim the stolen mandate. It's a time to be who we are in Christ. It's a time to live according to knowledge and understanding and grow in the knowledge of the Lord and in the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray. 
God, thank you for all you've done. Thank you for your word. We ask that your spirit and your power we continue to expand on this words in our hearts. We rebuke every spirit of ignorance. We rebuke that darkness in the corners of the hearts of your children. It may be small, but no matter how small ignorance is, it could have devastating, devastating effects a lot of times. Lord, cure our ignorance. Destroy every power of the devil that wants us to live in ignorance. Open our eyes to see what you've done for us on the cross and what you've done. Three good days in the grave, you went to hell. You took the keys. You took the power from the devil. You took the stolen mandate and you handed it over to us. Lord, help us not to live in sin. Help us not to resist the spirit. Help us not to resist your hand that is ready to work wonders in our lives. Heal every disease. Heal every problem. Remember your people. I can't mention their names now. Those who have a problem or the other, Lord, attend to their needs. Those who are watching right now, Father, attend to their needs, their financial needs, their health needs, their family needs, social needs, spiritual needs, Lord, attend to everything. And those who are being oppressed by the devil, receive your freedom in the name of Jesus, especially the freedom of your mind. Let the darkness that is covering your understanding disappear now in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for your word. I remember as many who have been supporting us in our ministries and in our charity organization. Lord, release your blessings upon their lives. Fill their homes with your blessings until there is no more room to receive them. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Kindly share our videos. Please share this video. Thank you for listening to this message. Please subscribe to this channel, Hosanna EE TV. Please share our videos and recommend this channel to other people. Uh, those of you who want to support this ministry, please look at the description box. You will see uh, details, our details there. Uh, what we realize is what we, what you give is what we use to sponsor this ministry, to finance this ministry, maintain our website, and also run a charity organization, Zana David Foundation. Uh, kindly visit our website, tnwcfen.org. For those of you who are in the U.S., uh, we now have a U.S. bank account. Look at the screen, our account details on the screen. You can actually give. You can visit our website, tnwcfen dot org to get more details about how to give through paypal or through other means thank you and god bless you don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share our videos see you next time god bless you bye bye